So just about one hour ago, the first update came in from ISRO. With less than four hours to go for the landing, ISRO has confirmed that they're going ahead, all guns blazing, with the operation. They're going ahead with their mission to soft land Vikram on the moon. What they've confirmed in their tweet is that the automated landing sequence has been, in fact, to give them the go-ahead. The command has been sent across for it. It will officially start at 5.45, but the live streaming will begin by 5.20 this evening. So what do we mean by an AI? What do we mean by an automated landing sequence? Remember that the landing, the soft landing on the surface of the moon is completely automated. So scientists essentially will have to sit back and only track to see if things are going as per plan. And this is of course based on the work that they've done, based on the design that they've come up with, based on the hard work and tech that they've put in for the last many years. If all of that is absolutely pitch perfect, you will see a beautiful, beautiful moment where India has officially touched down on the moon and that too on the south pole of the moon, courtesy lander Vikram. So we will be of course waiting for that moment but before that as well, there's a lot of anticipation. Very importantly, ISRO also has confirmed that as far as the entire mission is concerned, it's scheduled as per plan. I know there was a lot of talk, I got a lot of WhatsApp messages and a lot of questions of people asking me on social media, is the landing pushed to August 27th. It's most definitely not. It's happening today as of now. And considering that there's been no sort of communication otherwise from ISRO, I'm pretty certain, almost 100% certain that it is going to happen today because ISRO did say that their plan B would kick in by about 1 or 2 in the afternoon. The fact that they've sent across those commands, the fact that they've taken to social media to confirm that their landing sequence will kick off at 5.45pm itself tells you that they are completely confident in the mission at hand and they're completely confident that where Chandrayaan 2 fell uh, short, Chandrayaan 3 will accomplish and fulfill all of our dreams of touching down on the moon. So we've got the first pictures here on India today of the inside of the ISRO command center. These are the men and women of ISRO in large numbers. Your men and women, uh, scientists, engineers, technologists, analysts, mission specialists, observers who are at their terminals waiting for the next few hours when that automatic landing sequence will be initiated and then the powered landing uh, of the Vikram lander uh, will start taking place. Around 5.20 is when the entire sequence will actually uh, be kicked off. Uh, as we've reported here on India Today, the sequence is a very, very delicate one. Many of the lessons learned after the 2019 uh, Chandrayaan 2 mission have been incorporated into a nearly fail-safe mechanism for the Chandrayaan-3 landing system. So these pictures are actually amazing because this is for the first time that we and our viewers are getting an inside view of where it all happens. This is the real war room viewer uh, where the men and women of ISRO, the managing team, those with telemetry systems, uh, you know, those with the computers that are directly linked to the Vikram lander, uh, you know, and the, and the orbiter, orbiter module of the Chandrayaan-3 are tracking in real time, uh, you know, through imagery, through camera information, uh, through telemetry, precisely uh, what's happening. There's a great deal of health monitoring also happening. Uh, obviously, we're, uh, we're not going to be able to zoom into those terminals because much of this information is privileged information and these scientists cannot be disturbed. But but this is amazing. This is where it all really happens. Every person you see here plays an extremely key role in what's happening thousands of miles away on the Vikram lander. So, uh, you know, hearts are paced right now. Everyone's completely strapped in. There's going to be no one, very few people getting up from their seats now until the final countdown. 